Hello traders. In this video, I'm going to teach you a setup called Manipulation Entry Formula, MEF. So what then is Manipulation Entry Formula? Guys, before I start, shout out to my mentor, Chichanora, the founder of Bastra, for this amazing knowledge. All right, guys. So Manipulation Entry Formula, first of all, is a reversal setup. You know, I have been teaching you most of the setup, most of the fantastic five setup on, the, on, on, on this channel. And most of the setup are continuation setup. Why others are um, um, reversal setup? So manipulation entry formula is a reversal setup category. All right. So usually price will form a bullish and governing or a bearish and governing candle on the higher time frame. And in the lower time frame, Price will create rally based rally or drop based drop inside the bullish and governing or the bearish and governing candle from the higher time frame as well as entry point. All right, guys. So let's look at the details of manipulation entry formula right here on the screen. So this is manipulation entry formula for buy and manipulation entry formula for sell. So let's look at the first example. This is a bullish and governing candle, right? This is a bullish and golden candle that is formed at the higher time frame. Let's say this bullish and golden candle form uh, on H4 time frame, right? So in, in the lower time frame, price creates price form a bullish and golden candle on the higher time frame. And in the lower time frame, price create rally based rally as entry point. Let's say you find a bullish and golden candle, or a bullish and golden candle is, is formed on the H4 time frame, and you switch to the lower time frame like H1 or M30 to look for what a rally based rally in case of uh, a buy. All right. So price from bullish and golden candle at the higher time frame, and in the lower time frame, price create rally based rally as our what our entry point for us to buy. All right. So the, so if you look at this uh, this uh, selling uh, manipulation entry formula, you see that price create bearish and golden candle at the higher time frame. It could be H4, it could be H, uh, H1, it could be daily, weekly, even monthly, right? So price create a bearish and golden candle at the higher time frame. And in the lower time frame, price create rally, I mean, drop base drop as well, entry point. So in this case now, you mark here, this is how you are going to mark at the lower time frame where price create drop base drop. So this drop base drop is, is inside the bullish, inside the bearish and golden candle that is created on the higher time frame. All right. So when, when this happens, this is what we call manipulation entry formula. You wait for price to come back to this region where you sell. You look for your selling opportunity, right? Like um uh, uh like in the in the buy example. This is a bullish and golden candle. So this rally based rally form inside this rally based rally that is formed on the lower time frame. When you switch back to the higher time frame, you see that this rally based rally is formed inside this bullish and golden candle. So we mark it and what as what as our entry point. We wait for price to retrace back to that particular zone, then we buy. This is what manipulation entry formula is all about, guys. So Without much ado, guys, I don't want this video to be too long. Let's go straight to the chart. Let me show you how manipulation entry formula actually work so that you can go back to your own drawing board and do some back testing and see what um, uh, manipulation entry formula is all about. All right, so today I'm going to use my favorite platform, MT5. So I'm going to use the default MT5 app to show you how manipulation entry formula actually works, right? So. This is um uh, uh GPB USD. So let's start with gold. Okay. So this is gold. First of all, you have to let's delete this one. So first of all, guys. You have to identify the trend. You have to identify the trend of the market because we don't want to trade uh, tr uh, trade against the market, right? So first of all, identify where is the market going? Is it an uptrend? Is it a downtrend? 
so that you can start looking for what you can start looking for um engulfing candle in the direction of that trend so that you now capitalize on manipulation entry formula so he right here we are we are already in a downtrend. In this example, we are in a downtrend, right? Price is giving us a characteristics of what? Characteristics of a downtrend, lower high, lower low, right? So in this case, we are going to be looking for what? Bearish and Govin candle, right? So now let me give you an example. Let's use this one. So this is a bearish and Govin candle that is formed here. Remember, we are in a downtrend. So this is a bearish and golden candle. So we are going to mark that bearish and golden candle here, and we switch to the lower time frame to look for what to look for a drop base drop. So now this uh, bearish and golden candle happen in H four time frame. So we are switching to H one time frame to look for what to look for uh, a drop base drop, right? So let's go to H one. Do we see anything from H one? Nothing. We didn't see anything, right? So let's go to uh m30 time frame okay inside in 830 uh, m30 time frame what do we see we see let me pick my pen we see a drop base drop as what as well uh, entry point and this drop base drop happened inside the bearish and golden candle from the higher time frame this is what we call manipulation entry formula so in this wise you are going to we are going to mark this point going to mark this point we wait for price to come back then we sell right so let me change to blue color all right okay so let's go back to h4 time frame so now when you we switch back to h4 you see that this that drop base drop that we found on m30 time frame actually formed inside the bearish and golden candle and our markup is within the body of the candle. We don't want this markup to be at the week of the candle. I'm going to give you an example. So once we mark our entry point on M30 time frame, we switch back and we see that our, our markup is within the body of the bearish and golden candle. We, we now go back again to the M30 time frame. We found um, the entry point. So what are we going to do in this example? We are going to be we are going to wait patiently for price to come back and then we, we, we sell, right? And immediately price go back to this place. What happened? Price dropped massively, right? So if you if you enter this particular trade, you would have risked um, risk 18 pips. Then we go with uh, maybe the swing low, 18 to 92 pips, guys, up to 4%, right? So this is how manipulation entry formula is being uh, applied. Let's go back and to the H4. Let me give you more example. Still on the downtrend, right? Um, we found another bearish and golden candle, guys. This is another bearish and golden candle. Let me zoom a bit. So this is another bearish and golden candle. Let's change the color of. So. <laughs> So this is the bearish and golden candle. Remember, guys, we are still in a downtrend, right? So let's go to H4, H1 time frame to see if we can find a... First of all, you will wait for the bullish and golden candle to form. The bullish and golden candle must form and close before you look for the entry point, all right? So this is the bearish and golden candle. Let's go to H1 time frame. Let me minimize again. What do we see? We see nothing, right? Let's go to M30 time frame. What can we find here, guys? We found um, drop base drop. This is drop base drop, guys. This drop base drop happened inside the bullish, the bearish and golden candle from the higher time frame. All right. So we mark our zone. We mark this uh, zone. Let's change it to blue color. So let's remove this one, guys. So let's go back to H4 time frame. You go back to H4 time frame, you see that our markup is within the body of the bearish and golden candle, which means that 
um, the drop best drop form inside the bearish and governing candle, right? So we don't want our markup this uh, blue uh, blue rectangular box. We don't want our markup to be at the week, to be at the week of to to be at the week of this uh, candle. We want when when our markup is at the week of this candle or the shadow, it is called high risk, right? So we want our markup to be at the body of this bearish and govern candle. So we but so we we'll have um a confidence for us to take that trade, right? So let's go back to M30 time frame. Right. So this is the M30 time frame. We wait for price to come back to this point we sell. Guys, if you um you will if, if we enter here, our stop loss would have been above what well, would have risked up to let's say 15 pips and go. Um, down to the swing to the swing low take our profit to the swing low let's say 80 87 pips guys this strategy this manipulation entry uh formula is is magic right this setup is magic so if you get value or you are getting value right now in this video make sure you hit the subscribe button like the video and even share right the only way you can show appreciation to all the amazing content i've been giving you guys is to subscribe like and share my 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 video to other people right so guys let's continue let me show you another example so yeah this is uh another uh, bearish and golden candle on the higher time frame let me zoom in again so this is the bearish and golden on h4 time frame let's mark it okay let me change the color. So let's we'll now go to the lower time frame like H1. If we can't find any um entry point in H1, we'll go to M30, right? So let's go to H1. So what do we see here, guys? We see nothing, right? We go to M30. What do we see? Guys, we see drop base drop inside the bearish and golden candle from the higher time frame H4, right? So what are we going to do in this wise? We mark our entry point, drop base drop. We mark our entry point, then we extend it, right? So I'm going to change to, to um, blue color. So let's delete this one. Let's go back to H4. Guys, if you look at uh, the bearish and govern that is formed on H4, you see that our markup is inside the uh, body of the of the bearish and govern, right? So we don't want to see our markup at the week. Like I said before, if our markup is at the week or the shadow of the candle like this, it is called high risk, right? So we don't want to take such a trade. We want to see our markup inside the body of the bearish and govern or the bullish and govern candle as the case may be all right so in this case our markup is inside the bearish and govern candle so we'll be uh have will be more confidence to take the trade all right so let's go back to m30 time frame so we'll wait for patiently for price to come back to our entry point zone where we'll start pumping selling orders so if we enter here our uh, stop loss will have this one is when we have go maybe we risk. I would have risk um let's say um 25 pips. We go on 25 pips, then um, 25 pips stop loss, then um our take profit at the swing low will be 95 pips. But there is a way I can minimize my risk. I can got a perfect um risk to reward on the lower time frame. I'm going to teach you in a in a different video how to minimize your risk. When you have an entry like this, you can switch down to the lower time frame to get a perfect entry, a snapper entry where you can maximize a perfect risk to reward ratio. The risk to reward ratio is up to three, is up to three or four percent, right? But there is a way you can um minimize your risk to get a perfect entry on the lower time frame like m5 even m1 
so that you can come out with at least 10%, 10 risk to reward, right? So I'm going to do a video on how to minimize your risks when you get such opportunities. But for the purpose of this video, I want you guys to understand the concept of manipulation entry formula. And if you are getting value in this video, guys, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you, you join my Telegram channel because you are going to learn a lot of things. I share a lot of free materials on my channel. Also, you can follow me on my Instagram to see what I do on weekly, on daily or weekly basis, right? So the link of my of my Instagram will be, you know, will be dropped at the description of this video. Even my Telegram link will be dropped at the description of this video. Guys, let me um, go, let's go to um, GPB USD and show you on one or two example before I end this video, all right? So, this is uh, GPB USD. I have a trade currently running. I have a buy trade is running and I'm in profit. Anyways, let's forget about this one. So let me remove this line here. Okay, we can we can continue. So let's say we are in an uptrend, right? Like I said, I'm going to show you a buy example. In, in a, a goal, I use uh, a downtrend to show you example, right? I say, first of all, you have to identify the trend of the market. Where is the market going? Is the market going bullish or is the market going bearish? There's a way also you can even counter trend, right? When you see a, 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 an engulfing candle. But for you to make things easier for you, especially for the beginners, just first of all, identify the trend of the market. Where is the market going? Once you identify the trend of the market, right? So you start looking for engulfing candle in the direction of that trend so that you apply your manipulation entry formula to join the trend, right? So in this case now we have, we, we have a down, a, an uptrend here. Why is it an uptrend? Because we are having series of uh, uh, um, lower high, lower, higher, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, 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 low. So this is the characteristics of what? Characteristics of an uptrend. So in this wise, we are going to be looking for what? Buying opportunities, right? So in this case, we'll be looking for what? Bullish and golden candle for us to take our manipulation entry formula. We are going to be looking for what bullish and golden candle. So let me let, let me use this one. This is a bullish and golden candle, right? So let me change the color. So this is a bullish and golden candle on H4 time frame. So let's, what are we going to do? We are going to switch to H1 time frame to M30 to see if we can find um, a rally based rally inside the body of this bullish and golden candle, right? So let's go, guys. Let me minimize again. So, can we see anything here, guys? Nothing. Here we found um, um, Rally base rally, guys. So this is rally base rally. All right, inside the bullish and golden candle from H4 time thing, guys. This thing is it works wonders, guys. It works wonders. That is why you have to stay subscribed to this channel so that you'll be receiving amazing content that I'm going to be dropping, right? Because I'm a price action sharpshooter. All the concepts I've been teaching you right on this channel are basically price action, right? price action so if you understand price action your trading will be going smoothly because price action like i always told you guys like i always said that price action is just the language of the market right so when you understood the language of the market whenever the market is presenting all this thing on the chart you know where the market is going right so let's mark that point so we are going to we are going to mark our zone right when we mark this zone, let's change it to a different color. So we have to delete this one, guys. So now, first of all, let's go back to each four time frame. 
So here in H4 time, we see our markup, it's inside the body candle, the, uh, the body of the bullish candle, right? Like I always tell you that we don't want to see this markup at the week of the candle. When it is at the week of the candle, it is high risk, right? So let's go back to MT80. So now we, when we come back to MT80, we oh. uh, uh, wait for price to come back to our entry point zone, then we buy. So if we enter, if we enter this trade, if, if we would have entered this trade, maybe we take profit here, 35 pips, our stop loss will be below here. So we risk 11 pips, then we gain 35 pips, right? It's a good risk to reward ratio, guys. So let me, let's go on again. Okay, there's another bullish and golden candle here again, guys. So let's mark it up. So, um, so let's mark this one up. This is a bullish and golden candle. Remember, we are still in an uptrend, guys. What is going on? Okay. Let me... So let's change the color of that. Um, all right. So now let's switch to H1 time frame. We can find an entry point there. Wow, guys, we found a rally base rally. So here is rally base rally, right? So guys, for those of you who doesn't know rally base rally drop base drop, or um, maybe you are not familiar with the basic supply and demand, you have to go and watch other videos on basic supply and demand so that you'll be able to understand the concept of manipulation entry formula, not even manipulation entry formula. For you to understand all the setup I have been teaching on my channel, you need to have knowledge in what basic supply and demand. All right, so let's continue guys. So what are we going to do in this wise that we found um, rally base rally? So we're going to mark this entry uh, entry point where we expect price to come back there, then we buy. So, but, but before we do that, let's go to, let me change this color. We'll go back to H4 time frame to see if our markup is inside, is truly inside the bullish and golden candle, right? So let's go to H4. You see that this markup is inside the and golden candle, the bullish and golden candle. So we we we'll come back to H, H1 time frame and we wait for market to come. Then we enter. This would have been our entry. So maybe uh maybe if you if you put your stop loss so close, the market would have hit your stop loss, you know. Um, no strategy can give you um hundred percent, right? So even this one, you are going to have sometimes stop loss hit, which is fine. But believe me, you are going to have at least 70 to 80 percent win rate on this particular setup. It works everywhere. Also, I'm going to show you, I just entered a trade today, being on 31st of October, 2023. I enter a trade based on manipulation entry formula. So I'm going to show you my my uh, what makes me to enter a GU buy at the end of this video. So stay tuned, guys. So maybe we, we risk um, 16 pips. Then we go on um, the swing high, 43 pips. So it's still... Guys, it's still uh, 40 pips. It's still a good risk to reward ratio, guys. This is how manipulation entry formula is applied. So you have to, you know, understand the concept of manipulation entry formula, NEF, and be able to apply. Once you identify the trend, you look for bearish and govern or bullish and govern candle in direction of the trend, and then you apply this concept. You are going to, guys, you are going to, 
Very, very simple, but you are going to be profitable. You are going to be profitable, guys. Let me show you one more example before I end the video. I don't want my content to be too long. Guys, like I said, first of all, you have to identify what you have, you have to identify an uptrend, right? So in this example here, we already, eh, characteristic an uptrend. We're already in an uptrend, guys. So now what are we going to be looking for? We are going to be looking for bullish engulfing candle so that we can apply our uh, strategy, our manipulation entry from last setup, right? So this is a bearish bullish engulfing candle here. So we are going to mark it. So once we mark it like this, let's change the color as, as usual. We're going to mark it like this. So let me zoom, guys. So we mark it like this. Then we switch to the higher and the next time, the lower time frame, uh, H1 time frame, guys. So what can we find here? What can we find here? Nothing? What can we find here? Okay, guys, we can find um rally based rally. All right. This is a rally based rally, guys. Rally based rally. So, guys, this strategy works wonders, right? So let me let's mark our entry, our entry point. So let's mark our entry point. So we mark our entry point like this. So once we mark our entry point, guys, you know, let's go back to H4 time frame to see if our markup is inside the bullish engulfing candle. Guys, our markup right here, can you see it? Let me zoom. Our markup right here is inside what? Inside the bullish engulfing candle. You see, this is a bullish engulfing candle completely engulfed the opposing candle, right? So our markup is inside the bullish engulfing candle. So we go back to M30 time frame. So guys, so this is um uh, this is uh our entry point, right? So this is our entry point. All right. So yeah. This is where we wait for market to come back to this point, then we buy. All right. So, guys, we have come to the end of this video. I want you to go back to your drawing board and backtest this strategy. I want I want you to go back to your drawing board. You know, backtest this strategy and see how this particular setup works, guys. I believe this uh, particular video benefits you. If this video benefits you, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like I always said that. Um, trading is all about devotion. You have to stay devoted on the chart. You have to keep practicing because I always say that without devotion, there is no transformation, right? No matter what you are devoted to, it is the quality of your devotion which will transform you, guys. So thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.